climate change is the defining issue of our generation. But the fact remains that people are finding very difficult to marshal an appropriate response. It's a long, long haul to start a new automotive manufacturing company from scratch with brand new cutting edge technology, a new business model, different governance. It's really driven by our purpose, which is to eliminate the environmental impact of personal transport. I'm Fiona Spowers, and I work at River Simple. And I'm Hugo. I've been building River Simple over 19 years now. We're pioneering hydrogen electric cars, and we're in the middle of the countryside, just on the border of Wales. We both went to the same university. We had a lot of mutual friends, so we met through those mutual friends a long time ago. I was always interested in the environment, but I got distracted by motor racing because I wanted to design and drive racing cars. I had my own business in motorsport for 15 years and got out of that really for environmental reasons. And it was only about two years after I got out of motorsport that I first heard of hydrogen fuel cells. The breakthrough was through building a different sort of car and designing a car around hydrogen fuel cells rather than trying to squeeze fuel cells into petrol engine cars. So I reached the conclusion that we needed to get rid of combustion engines altogether. The first car we've built, the Raza, is a two-seater local car. Raza is short for tabula rasa, which means a clean slate. So because we started from scratch, we wanted to capture that. Our car's doing the equivalent of 250 miles to the gallon. And this car that we're building is massively more efficient and massively longer lasting with zero emissions. We are kicking off a beta test of 20 cars with a community around one refueler and we are inviting people to take a car for a month to test it and use it in an everyday way and give us feedback. Oh, this is, this is fun. Actually, I can't get over That's how good. responsive yeah. the um, accelerator it is. It is, because we've got four in-wheel motors. You've got all that instant power as soon as you touch the pedal. Yeah. Right at the heart of our business strategy is moving away from selling a car as a product to selling mobility as a service. We're the only car company that hopes never to sell a car. All the operating costs sits on our balance sheet, including the fuel. When the customer fills up with fuel they don't pay, we do. The service model de-risks the whole choice of this car from a customer's perspective, where you can take a car and when you've had enough of it, you bring it back and that's fine. We upgrade it and get it ready for another customer. As a company, we are very well embedded into not only the community where we are actually based, but the ones we're going into. We recruit from the area first within the very close radius of the company. We are really, really lucky. We have got fantastic people. We have people from Formula One, we have aerospace. So we're really chuffed with the engineers we've been able to attract. The local vehicle market is absolutely only an entry point for the company and for the technology. We can build cars for other segments when the infrastructure is there to justify it. If we're really going to achieve significant change in society, we've got to get people to do it because they want to do it. And there are very few things we can't do four times as efficiently as we do today. In most circumstances, you can do things cheaper as well as cleaner.